Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to run your new application that you've made. Or even if you haven't, you just want to see what it's like, I'm going to show you how to do that. So there's two options for this to run it. You can either use a physical device like a cell phone or tablet that runs Android. Or you can use a virtual phone, I guess you could call it, um, on the computer called an emulator. So using the phone is going to be a lot faster, but you can try... Um, the, uh, the emulator on the computer if you don't actually have an Android device, but we're going to do pretty much both just so we get a idea of what it's like. So up here, you click this little green play button, hopefully everybody can see that, and you can see down here that it's executing some tasks. Basically, it's going to take all the code that um, is building your application, and it's going to convert it into a language that um, well, both your computer and your phone can understand. Um, and then it'll be able to run that once we select how we're going to run it, whether it's on our phone or our um, other device. As you can see, this little window pops up when you run it, and you can select some options. You can select a running device, like a physical device, or an emulator. Uh, I will do both of them just so you can see the difference and so first we're going to try running with an actual device if your device does not show up here um, you're going to follow these couple of steps I'm just about ready to show you and then we'll go from there so what you're going to do is go ahead and click on your settings and then go down to the bottom or wherever your about phone or about tablet is click on that and you're going to see the um, build number at the very bottom and you just can keep tapping that about seven times then it'll declare that you're a developer once it says that and go back and you'll now see this new developer options then you're going to scroll down and click on this USB debugging right here and make sure that it's checked and then something will pop up and be like are you sure you want to enable this you click OK I'm not going to do that because it'll stop my screen recording and then It'll say, like, do you always want to allow access from this computer? Yes, you do. And that's all you need to do on the phone until we actually run it from the computer. With developer options enabled, all you got to do is uh, hit the play button in case you close that window. Wait for it to pop up and select choose a random device. And now hopefully your device will appear here. If not, go ahead and try the steps I just showed you over again. Or if you can't figure it out, you can contact me in the comments or on my website. So you click it, and then click OK. Then it'll start building to your device. As you can see, it, it works and runs phenomenally. Maybe you don't want to use your phone, or you don't even have a phone or tablet, so you just want to run it on your computer to see how it looks, or to make sure it works. You can click the Launch Emulator button, and hopefully you'll have a device previously created. If not, you can click these dot, this little three-dot menu over here and create a new virtual device. I'll show you how to do that real quick and you can choose pretty much anything you want um, the smaller the screen size the faster it's going to run and the lower the software version it'll also run faster so choose uh, smaller basically click the next button and select your API level which for me I only have 22 so we're just gonna do that you can download other ones if you want but for now you can just click the first one you have and set up like what the name you want it to be. I'll just call it um, Nexus 4 because that's what it's set up to be just like. You can change the scale of it. We'll run it in portrait and then click finish. And then we're done. And we can then close this out to this screen and select our launch emulator and change this from the default one which is Nexus 5 to our Nexus 4 or you can run the Nexus 5 if you want I'm gonna do the Nexus 4 and you can check this use same device for future launches if that's the only thing you want to do I'm not going to because sometimes it switch between the two and then you click OK this process will take a while for the emulator to start and especially on the first time but then it'll get less and less time and yeah so we'll I'll pause the video and we'll see what it looks like when we're done well, my emulators did not seem to open up. I tried my Nexus 4 and my Nexus 5 one, nothing. So I made a really small screen device with um, an older software. I think it's like 
Android 4.4.4 and it booted up pretty fast okay 4.3 so um, yeah that's the end of the video and um, just to show you the app is running here it is thanks for watching